So this has been the roughest day trying to film this video. The pregnancy brain is real. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is my third or fourth time trying to film this video just now because I've been having all the difficulties. First I got everything set up and then none of my batteries were charged. So I waited for them to charge, started filming, got like halfway through and I realized my microphone was not on. So then I turned my microphone on filmed the whole 20 minute video and then I went to import the footage and my microphone settings were not on right so it was super quiet so this is my last and final try no if this is, goes bad let's be honest I'll try again anyways sorry for that rant but today is another pregnancy update video this is gonna be weeks 9 through 12 I am today 13 weeks and one day so I'm gonna be reviewing the past four weeks, 9, 10, 11, and 12. If you guys wanna see what's been going on with me and my baby, then just keep watching. So yeah, like I said, I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I sat down and filmed my last pregnancy update video, but I guess it was four weeks ago. And in that video, I was talking to you guys about how slow time is going by. And like, honestly, the time it was going by so slow and I feel like it's going by so much faster now. I don't know if I'm just like, used to the idea of being pregnant now, or if it's the holidays, which just make things go by faster anyways, or if it's because we found out the sex of the baby, which I feel like is something that you're just like so anxious to find out. So once you find out that it's, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, everything just seems more relaxed because I know so much about my baby already and I'm not going to tell you guys in this video. I'm gonna do my best not to drop any hints. Uh, we are filming a gender reveal video next weekend, so that should be up in about a week. So I hope you guys are gonna look forward to that. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And so yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking, boy or girl. I don't know, I wanna know what you guys think. I guess the biggest thing that changed is, since my last update is that we went to a new doctor. Um, a new OBGYN office. Um, I don't know. I didn't even need the doctor at my first eight-week appointment, but I just wasn't getting a good vibe from that office, and they didn't have good reviews online. I don't know. I just felt like I was just like a number to them, and they were just like rushing me out of there, didn't want to answer any of my questions, and just did not feel personal at all. So, I don't know. I just wanted to see if there was anything better out there, so I tried this new office that has seven OBGYNs. They're all female, which... I really preferred and um, it was had really good reviews online and Austin's cousin had her baby there and had really a really good recommendation so I went there at about nine and a half weeks and um, it was like seriously like a night and day experience for my first experience so I'm super happy to be at this new office I went in at nine weeks and four days and I had an ultrasound and first of all like the ultrasound I had at this new office was like so much different than the ultrasound at the first one like they had like a big screen for me to see what they see in the little screen and uh, I just felt like the technology was a lot better and a lot clearer I could actually see like the shape of a baby and they heard the heart rate and they said that everything sounded really good so i was really happy about that and the baby was measuring nine weeks and one day even though i was nine weeks and four days or something like that so it was just a couple of days behind which they said was fine and i wasn't worried about that so um at this point my due date is june 10th but it was measuring like june 14th or something at that point so then i went in with the nurse practitioner and she talked to us for like 30 minutes was super sweet answered all of our questions, like just gave me so much information, sent me home with a bunch of pamphlets and paperwork and like a little goodie bag. So I don't know, that just made me feel a lot better because it's my first pregnancy. I just really want someone who's gonna take the time to like educate me and just spend one-on-one -on -one time with me. So I felt really, really good about this office. So then I went back um, a few days after that when I was exactly 10 weeks and I got some blood work done. So I got all my prenatal lab work done. They test like all your hormones and vitamins and you know, all that stuff to make sure everything is good. And I also got this thing called like non-invasive prenatal testing that um, tests the chromosomes. So it tests for any chromosomal disorders like Down syndrome. And it can also test uh, the X and Y chromosomes. So it can tell the gender of the baby. So yeah, that's like why I wanted to get that test done. And I don't think like a lot of doctors offer that test or suggest that test because I guess like a lot of people's insurance doesn't cover it. 
But um, Austin's sister's doctor has all of his patients do it, so she was able to know the gender at like 11 weeks. So we just asked if we could have it done, and they checked, and our insurance did cover it. So they were like, oh yeah, we have no problem ordering it for you. I guess normally they would only uh, order it for someone who's over 35 or someone who has like chromosomal disorders in their family. Um, but we just honestly wanted to know the gender of the baby as soon as possible, so that's why we wanted to have it done. So yeah, a few days after that, the doctor's office called me and they told me that all my prenatal blood work uh, looked perfect, like even my thyroid, which I was really happy about, my iron and my protein and all that stuff that people are worried about, especially for vegans. Uh, everything was perfect, so apparently what I'm eating and what I'm doing is working just great, so. That's something that I've been finding so annoying. I mean, obviously, like, people are annoying about veganism in general. But, like, ever since I became pregnant, like, people think that they can have an opinion about, like, what I eat and what I choose to feed my baby. And it's very, very annoying. So I was really glad to get good uh, blood test results back to show people that, like, look, what I'm doing is completely healthy and perfect for me and my baby. So... Keep your opinions to yourself, please. Um, so yeah, I was really, really happy about that. And then about a week later, they called me back with the chromosomal uh, results and they said my baby like does not have Down syndrome or anything like that. Everything looked good. And then they told me the sex of the baby. And then I called Austin and told him and he was so excited. So can't wait to tell you guys that in about a week. So yeah, again, if you haven't already, let me know what your prediction is in the comments down below because I'm really curious to see what you guys think. And then we went in at 12 weeks um, for our 12 week ultrasound. And it was so crazy how much the baby had grown from 9 weeks to 12 weeks. They saw 5 fingers on both hands and we could see the baby moving a little bit. Like my baby is so lazy it seems like both times in the ultrasound like it wasn't moving at all at the 12 week one she was really trying to get a measurement to see how long it is so they could say like you know how it's measuring and it was just like really comfy in a little ball and i couldn't tell if it's like sucking its thumb or if it just like likes to hold its hands really close to its face but it was so cute to like see its little head and its little nose and its little hands and its little feet and oh so cute but like she kept telling me to cough and roll around and it would just kind of move its butt or like stretch out its arms a little bit and then like go back to its spot so she was like this seems like a pretty mellow baby like it is not being bugged by what i'm doing at all like she was like trying to like wake it up and stuff and it was just not it was just comfy it was just chilling and I saw um, Austin's sister's ultrasound from 12 weeks and her baby was moving like crazy, like kicking and squirming. And my baby was just being really lazy. So I'm like, that's cool. Like hopefully my baby's really mellow. <laughs> yeah, that was just really cool. I love ultrasounds and just being able to see the baby and the heartbeat and just like know like that thing is inside me. It's so crazy. Like it already looks so much like a human. I already know so much about it and like, I don't even look that different. It's so crazy. Oh my gosh, you scared me! Oh my god! No, Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. Sorry. <sighs> Hi, YouTubes. Literally, like, my heart, like, stops. I knew you guys were gonna come home at some point, but it was just, like, so loud and abrupt. So, yeah, anyways, at the 12 week appointment, my baby was 12 weeks and two days. Um, so they're measuring right at their due date now because um, it was 12 weeks and two days when I had the ultrasound Which is good. I mean, I would have been fine if it was a couple days smaller like that doesn't mean anything really But uh, I don't know it's just like good to know that they're growing right on schedule and stuff like that And I haven't gained any weight yet. Well, I'm going in on Tuesday again So I will see if I've gained any weight at that point, but so far at all my doctor's appointments I haven't gained any weight yet, but my baby's growing so I guess that's good. It's the size of a lemon now, which seems pretty big, and I don't look like I have a lemon sticking out of me, but obviously it's like inside my belly. And yeah, I've been feeling really good. Like honestly, like obviously I'm still tired, and sometimes I get heartburn, or just like, you know, I'm hungry, but nothing sounds good. Like that's kind of annoying. But like compared to like other people in their first trimester, I feel like I've had it so easy. Like, I was watching my last update and I was like, oh my gosh, Danny, you're being such a drama queen. I'm sure, like, in the moment, like, those emotions and feelings were genuine. But I look back and I'm like, I honestly had it so easy. Like, I had a very 
easy first trimester. Um, I didn't throw up. I didn't like get nausea. Like I was just tired and didn't feel 100%, but I have had it very easy <laughs> compared to a lot of people. So I have like my little mellow baby who's very uh, easy on me so far, so I feel very lucky. And the only thing that has been sucking a lot is I've been breaking out like crazy. I know you guys probably can't tell right now because I have a lot of makeup on and it's clearing up a little bit. I have like some new products I've been trying. I don't want to like talk them up yet because I don't know if it's like the products I've been using or if it's just like going away, but I think I'm gonna do like a beauty favorites soon. So if I continue to like those products, I will show you guys. Um, but yeah, my acne has been really, really bad for me, like compared to how it was like right before I was pregnant. Like my skin was pretty good and now it's like back to like acne town. So that's not very fun. And I've also been getting hairy like everywhere. Not cute at all. Like the other day, I had Austin wax my stomach for me because my stomach hair was getting so like dark and not cute at all so I had to take care of that because that was not cute well I had Austin take care of it for me because you know he's a good husband like that so yeah that's been kind of the grunt of it but like I can't believe I'm already almost out of my first trimester like it was started off so slow but to say that, like I'm a third of the way done is very exciting I just like want the baby to be here already like I just want to hold it and give it a kiss and like squeeze its little face and its little feet and its little hands and I just can't wait so yeah we're like thinking about names now and we're thinking about nursery decorations and stuff like that so everything is very exciting there was um, like one phone call that wasn't like perfect so I feel like I'm just like oh my god everything's perfect so one of the things that I had tested was to see if I'm a carrier for cystic fibrosis and I didn't think that I was going to be a carrier because no one in my family has cystic fibrosis that I know of. And my doctor called me and told me that I am a carrier for cystic fibrosis, which I was very shocked by, but it doesn't mean anything unless your spouse is also a carrier. So both parents have to be carriers of cystic fibrosis and then your baby has a 25% 25, 25 chance of having cystic fibrosis. So Austin went in and got tested. And I'm pretty confident he's going to be okay because, I mean, my mom had never heard about anyone in our family having cystic fibrosis, but I asked Austin's mom and she hadn't heard of anyone. And then Austin's sister, who's pregnant right now too, she asked her doctor for me and um, he, her doctor said she's not a carrier. So I feel like um, since it's a genetic thing, um, if she's not a carrier, there's a good chance Austin is not a carrier as well. And it's very uncommon so it's just kind of like random that I'm a carrier. If Austin is not a carrier then we're completely in the clear like our baby has no chance of having cystic fibrosis they just have a chance of also being a carrier which I would just like want to know like I'm gonna like ask them if they can test my baby like down the line to see if they're a carrier just so like they know when they grow up um, and they want to start a family like they could just know that that's something that you know they have genetically in them also because I am O negative that's my blood type that's the kind of blood that I can like give blood to anyone because I'm so selfless like that but I can only have O negative blood so um, if my baby has a different blood type than me then our blood types could um, fight inside my body so um, Austin had to get his blood type tested because he didn't know what he was and they came back and they said they called me and they're like oh your husband is RH negative and I was like, oh, I didn't even know that was a blood type. And like, I felt like maybe I'm dumb and like that's like a new blood type I didn't know about. And I looked it up and like, RH like measured something in the blood, but it's not like a blood type. So I don't know what they're talking about, but he is positive. So I know my baby is going to have positive blood, which means I have to have a shot at 28 weeks which just keeps um, my body from fighting off the baby's blood. So, I mean, I guess, that, I mean, obviously that's something that most people with O negative probably have to deal with, so it's not a very big deal, but it's just something interesting that I had never heard of before. So yeah, um, I've got a couple things that I want to show you guys, and then I will show you guys my baby bump. And yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. So I got this thing that is called a belly band. I got it on Amazon, and I haven't gained any weight yet, but I feel like my stomach is just like fuller like it just like looks bloated but it's like hard so sometimes it's uncomfortable like I can still button all my jeans and stuff like that no problem but it's just like it's uncomfortable when I sit sometimes so sometimes I just like leave my pants unbuttoned and I wear this and it looks like you put it on over like the button in the zipper and like holds your pants up 
And it just like kind of feel like it just like holds my whole thing in. It's like the top of Spanx, but like way less tight. It's like not very tight at all. It's just soft and stretchy and it's really comfortable and I just like it. It just like feels like makes me feel secure and like smooth and stuff like that. So I really like this. Then I got a bunch of these just like bralettes on Amazon in a bunch of different colors. They're just like a really simple and comfortable. They have pads in them and yeah, these are just like really comfortable to wear with anything just since like I've been having problems like being comfortable in bras and stuff like that. So yeah, I got a bunch of these. And then I got this book called Mama Glow that one of you guys recommended in one of the comments of my other video. It says a hip guide to your fabulous abundant pregnancy. And it apparently has like a lot of good vegan recipes in it and like talks about prenatal yoga and stuff like that. So I am looking forward to reading this, but I like haven't even opened it at all yet because I'm just lazy AF. So yeah, that pretty much sums up what's been going on in my life, guys. I've been feeling pretty good, just still feeling kind of lazy. And yeah, I guess I'll show you guys my huge baby bump right now. Are you guys ready? Honestly, it doesn't look like a baby bump yet. It just looks like I ate Chipotle. I just look like bloated and not cute. Like I want a cute round baby bump, but I don't got one yet. And you guys can compliment Austin on his waxing job because now it is smooth. But yeah, that is what my stomach looks like right now. Um, it just like, honestly, it's like bloated, but then like hard. Like, I don't know, I feel like it's hard. Like I can definitely notice a difference. And like when I try to suck in, like this part still sticks out, so I feel like that's like my baby right there. Honestly, I love making these to help those of you who are pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant or those of you who are just curious. Like it's honestly so crazy what happens to your body and like what a woman goes through to make another life. Like the fact that we can make another life inside of our body is so crazy and like how our bodies just like know what to do and just are just going through all these crazy changes so fast is just so amazing and it's so interesting to see like everyone's different journey and it's so amazing to me how many of you guys have like s similar due dates to me i think i got like 20 comments on my last video of people who are either like due on the same day as me or like a couple days before or after it's so crazy which is so cool like we're gonna have our babies together and our babies are gonna be literally the same age and all of you guys who are already mamas who have been giving me like amazing advice, like thank you so much. I honestly appreciate every single comment and I read every single comment that you guys leave and I do my best to respond to every single comment. Like sometimes I read one when I'm like in the car or something and like forget to respond or you know something dumb like that. Like I just forget. So don't get mad at me if I forget to respond to your comment, but I promise I read every comment and I think about every comment and every comment means so much to me. I love every single one of you guys so much. Like it, I don't know. It's just like so nice to have this platform to share this life changing experience and having so many people who are so supportive and just like want to be a part of this journey with me is so cool. So Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all so much and I just love you all. And yeah, I just think that it's really cool that we get to go through this together. So I hope you guys are enjoying these pregnancy updates. Let me know how often you want me to do them. If you want me to do like every two weeks or keep doing them every four weeks, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.